My group is doing a uh, engineering project where we're trying to mitigate the pain of carrying a five gallon bucket. So currently a five gallon bucket is kind of a pain to carry. Uh, you carry it along, it rubs against your leg, the handle, the white handle will break and then it'll put too much pressure in one spot on your hand. So basically this is our second prototype. Um, what we did was we cut out with a saw the bottom of this bucket to try to make the curve that we wanted to fit the side into. Um, and then we took a heat gun and kind of pressed the side in. Um, and now we're trying to figure out how to connect the two edges. So what we did is we cut out a, this, a bottom plate right here and then uh, trimmed it down. Then we took some epoxy to tack in place the plate and also to tack in place the, this side wall to the plate securely. After the epoxy set, we smoothed it around the edges to add a little bit more structural integrity to the bucket. Um, after this dries, we're going to use some silicone to help waterproof it and to seal it permanently. Basically, right now I'm looking through this book that's full of information about uh, human output and control and physical work and manual materials handling. What we've been doing with the handles to the bucket um, is trying to iterate them a lot of times um, in order to get the most ergonomic fit for the most amount of people's hands possible. So we 3D printed these four handles in the 3D printer in the machine shop. We tested our users with a bucket body. Um, and the bucket handles to see which one they liked more. Um, this is so that uh, we can make a final project that users will like and that buyers would buy.